Today I made easy recipes using leftovers in my fridge. If you like these type of videos, please like and subscribe for more and comment what your favorite meal was below. This is the first thing I start out with in the day. It is a 32 ounce jar of lemon water and this helps to detox your body. So these meals today are called things that you make when you haven't gone food shopping over the weekend because it was your birthday. And I am making a cherry oatmeal. I'm taking some frozen black cherries that I got at Whole Foods. I'm making a sauce to put over the oatmeal. Adding a tiny bit of salt, a little cinnamon. I usually use a whole banana, but I only have this little banana piece left because I said I didn't go food shopping. So just putting that in there. I'm adding a tiny bit of maple syrup. You can add as little or as much as you want. I'm gonna be taking some cabbage that I got from Trader Joe's for another recipe, and I'm gonna be just seasoning this and cooking it. So it's about to go in the oven. I just seasoned it with some garlic, onion flakes, garlic aminos, and a tiny bit of garlic salt. The dark cherries are boiling, so I'm gonna turn down the heat. I'm adding a tiny bit of cornstarch. To the cherries, I'm adding a tiny bit of vanilla extract because it's gonna be a cherry vanilla oatmeal. And I'm gonna be adding a splash of this milk because it's toasted coconut. A Little bit of the cornstarch. This is cherry vanilla oatmeal with cacao nibs. You can leave out the cacao nibs. And some seasoned cabbage with garlic sauce. For lunch, I'm gonna be making some stir fried vegetables. Oops. Just gonna be taking out mushrooms. I'm gonna be adding some teriyaki sauce. A few red chili pepper flakes. some onion flakes, a touch of maple syrup, because who doesn't love maple syrup? And some onion powder. And there is a sneak peek of the potatoes before I plate them. They are getting a little brown and they are so delicious. And here we are. I have the pineapple stir-fried teriyaki vegetables and the twice-baked potatoes steamed once, baked again in the oven. And then there is some ketchup and this looks so delicious. This is what I had in my refrigerator today. Haven't gone shopping yet and I can't wait to eat it. So in real life, after I took this picture, I forgot to season the potatoes, but they actually taste really good with no seasoning. I'm starting to have less of a taste for salt and I can actually eat potatoes and vegetables without as much salt. So yeah, I seasoned them with a little bit of parsley and onion flakes and it's so good. For dinner, I have broccoli steaming and I also have some rice that is cooking and I'm gonna be making a mango garlic sauce. By the way, the rice that I'm using is this California white jasmine rice. So I am thawing the mango, the frozen mango, and I'm gonna be adding all my ingredients. So I've already put the mango in here with a little bit of water, just like crushing the mango pieces. Broccoli's already done. I'm just gonna add, oh, this thing never works. A little bit of the red pepper flakes. A little bit of onion powder, of course. I'm adding a little bit of coconut aminos. And I'm adding my garlic sauce. And here is my broccoli with my white rice under, and this is the delicious mango garlic sauce. And I'm just gonna put it on here. And I didn't add any thickeners. This is all the mango mashed up. Really delicious. 
and there it is. Dinner featuring white rice, steamed broccoli, and mango garlic sauce.